Captain's Log, Stardate 78053.2. We're beaming down into Endorian territory in hopes to find their secret recipe for Endorian soup. Any sign of Endorians? I'll check. No. no. Captain of the bridge. Spock here. Status of your landing party. We've been down to the kitchen. No sign of Andorians looking for the secret recipe. Stand by for further contact. Well, welcome to Cooking In with Joyce Lynn. Captain, I thought we would help make Andorian cabbage soup. Sounds so, good. this is great recipe for vegetarians or meat eaters. We're going to start with three stalks of cabbage, of uh, celery. Mm -hmm. This is organic. I pre-washed everything. I think we wanted to double it, right? So we'll have mm -hmm. to make per pot, which serves two. We're going to make for four. So we need six stalks of diced celery. So I'm going to let you dice the celery. And we're going to put that in the pot. In order to save on time and energy, I'm going to use this one pot for the whole soup. Would you like to cut that? Sure. And I'm going to melt everything with butter. Now, if you want to do a vegan recipe, you can use olive oil. That would work also. We're going to take celery and carrots. So you want to put about two carrots per two. So we'll have to double this because we're going to use the whole cabbage. So we just need chunks. So I'm going to give you, what's the equivalent of four carrots? So we've got four carrots here and half a cup, cup. Yes. And I'm going to use butter. This is going to be not a meat dish, but I'm just going to take, use this to melt it. So I'm going to put this on the stove and melt it. Maybe Do they say it needed to be finely more. chopped or no? That's good yeah. because it's going to be cooked down and then we're going to put it in the blender. Okay. You want to stick that in? cut the carrots into little chunks. It's probably pretty much cut. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to melt, I'm going to melt this on the stove. This is kind of like a mirepoix, which is a French um, soup base made out of carrots and celery and onions. And we're going to use one and a half onions, so I'm going to do that. And then you're also using garlic, two cloves of garlic. So this is pre peeled. Of course, the replicator replaced this later on. I'm going to take the, oh, <laughs> take the board over, it'd be faster. Oops, I'll do that one. Cloves of garlic, so it'll be four, so we use all of the garlic. How much onion? The whole thing. Dice that. It's a lot of chopping. And then here's another piece. So 
onion and garlic. And you're going to, after we cook that down and the onions are translucent, then we're going to add broth. You can use vegetable broth if you want a vegetarian dish, or you can use chicken broth or beef broth, or whatever stock you have at hand. Thank you. I keep recycling all the organics for compost. And the only herb we're using is thyme. I have either powdered thyme or dried thyme. Or if you have fresh thyme, you would use the equivalent of three stalks per half. Uh, order so let's say you would use six stalks of thyme but since this is dried it's more concentrated so I'm only going to put about a tablespoon and then I'm using salt that is Celtic salt it's my new favorite salt because it has minerals in it I put in that in and fresh pepper ground. Now the cabbage I'm soaking in a, in a wash to make sure that we've got all the pesticides out and it's clean because there's a lot of spray sometimes that they put on and we don't want to eat that. So after I rinse it, then I'm going to rinse it in clear water and then we're going to chop this up. How's it coming? I have half of it. The cabbage is the thing we're going to do last because The reason we're doing the cabbage last is because we don't want to overcook it and it gets to um, smell kind of bad and gets wilted. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that in the very last. When you put garlic in, it's good to cut it up and let it rest a little bit because it builds the antioxidant. I can put that in in the meanwhile. Okay. Let me throw that in. Right. This is designed actually. There we go. There's a lot of nutrients in these onion skins. Did you know that? I didn't know that. Yeah. Chopping skills are pretty impressive, huh? Yes, good chopping. Thanks. I'm going to add a dash of avocado oil. You can use that or olive oil, too. You're making a lot. Oh, that's a big onion. Yeah. <laughs> and then the broth. You're going to use about two liters. Chop the garlic. Yeah, you can chop it. Yeah. This simmer and cut this one. That's a lot. It's a big onion. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. Okay. Because we have a big cabbage. And while we're cooking this, yeah, we'll cut the cabbage. You have a big crew. Yes. We always have a big crew. <laughs> okay, so that's good. Okay. Okay. Just to push this in. Oh, we didn't use that onion. Do that. 
smells wonderful. Lieutenant Lou, how long does this take to uh, simmer? Oh, I'd say about 15 minutes. I like to cover everything. I'm going to put some more broth. of the heat is lost if you don't cover your pots and this makes it cook that much faster and saves energy but I think starting with the butter gives it a nice flavor mm -hmm. or if you do vegetarian there's so many different oils that you could use that are plant-based if you don't chop the but onion not quick seed oils they're not healthy what no, no seed oil if you don't cut the onion quick you'll start crying I know there's a trick also that I learned that um, if you take a wet paper towel and you put it by you, it helps absorb some of the Too late pain for that. in your eye. Yeah, <laughs> you missed that. Think about that piece. Yeah, not much there. Okay. Let's put that in. So this looks really good, yep. It's getting there. Mm -hmm. Sure. Meanwhile, I've drained the cabbage part. We don't mm -hmm. want to eat that. Okay. So we're going to cut that off. Looks like some Andorian leftovers. And the rest of it's good. This little piece here. So you want a beautiful cabbage. Okay, you want to cut. That. <laughs> how do you want? How do you want to cut? Just we're gonna uh, puree it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. okay. This, this cooks up rather quickly, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So this is a quick meal that you, you don't have to chop it because it's gonna be okay. mush. Okay, that's good. I'll take this. Yeah, we'll but we're going to put this out. in last. We're oh. going to wait till that cooks. Okay. The reason we don't want to put the cabbage in immediately is I'll because it, it. it gets really strong and it involves a lot of the uh, sulfur comes out. So we'll do this at the very end after we've got the onions cooked. You can... Um, Use this as a main course if you want to put protein in it. You could put tofu or you could put, you know, ham. Mm. Depends on what you like. And then it becomes. Perhaps we should put this in a bowl. Let me do it. Okay. Because it's right in here. This is. This is a big soup, <laughs> but it's going to cook down. You'd be surprised how it, will. it really cuts down once you cook it. Do we but, need to stir this? Uh, I don't think so. I think it's okay if you want to. Okay. I'll just go ahead and slice this. Okay. Now this has, see there's a little bit of brown here, so throw that out. Okay, you can cut all around and just leave it to the end to this end once you cook it down okay i think that will work we're gonna let this cook down and then we'll come back when it, the soup sure. stock base is ready stay tuned okay. well now that we've cooked down the mirepoix we can add our cabbage you can add any vegetables this is a great base you can use broccoli, you can use... It smells really good. Squash, and... You look really good. That. Okay, so now I'm going to put that in. Want to bring it over? Yep. Cabbage. Oops, try it. 
There's so much, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add a little more. I like to clean as I go. And I like to add a little more broth. As this cooks down, we can add more. I think we can get it all in. Just push Oops. it down. I did, but it's oh, okay. not, see, oh, look at it, it's okay. not going. Right. Just a little bit. There, this piece. Okay, you want to push it more down? What do you think? I'll let it go for a okay. minute. Then after we have everything cooked down, we're going to stick it in the blender and then that will be the soup. Okay, so now I think we're ready to blend. We've got our recipe all cooked. See the, everything is ready to go. And we're going to put it in a blender. Okay, it still is very nice and hot. So, would you like to get a bowl? We have one already here. Okay. From the last batch. That's good. Okay. Hmm. It is tasty. Oh, good. Now I know what the Andorians get their energy from. <laughs> so this is a complete meal. If you want to add any extra protein, you can. And. Uh, thank you for joining us on our Star Trek parody with Captain and Lieutenant. Lieutenant Lou. <laughs> okay, and be sure and like and subscribe Cooking In with Joyce Lynn, and we'll have some more adventures to come. Okay, ready to go? Ready to beam up. Okay. Captain and a bridge. Captain, this is Sulu. We read you. Two to beam up.